Hey guys, welcome to another uh, games programming tutorial. Uh, in the following tutorials, we're going to try to make a shoot them up type of game. So uh, you'll be uh, basically controlling a, uh, a spaceship at the bottom of the screen uh, using your left and right arrow keys and there will be a shoot key uh, most likely the space bar so when you press that your spaceship will fire a uh, a missile or something like that at the enemies which will be coming at you from the top so let's try and programming let's try and program this uh, without using any um, external pictures basically I just want to create objects from inside the program and just use the uh, created objects. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I want to create an object um, uh, which is the spaceship. So I'm going to type in here uh, dimension um, ship as uh, a new picture box All right, so instead of us dragging in a picture box from the left hand side instead of us dragging that in here and creating a picture box this is a, a better way of creating a picture box uh, because uh, basically it's just all done by code so I'm sorry I shouldn't say better way I should say another way of creating a picture box so now that we've created it what are we going to do with it well uh, when the form loads what we want to do is we want to uh, define this picture box All right so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to add this picture box to the controls so me dot controls dot add uh, ship so what this does is it adds this picture box to the screen so right now we haven't made any definitions for it yet so what we want to do is change some of the properties so I'm gonna give the ship a width of 40 and a height of 40 Alright, so what this does is uh, the picture box will be a square, obviously, and it will have a width of 40 pixels and a height of 40 pixels. And I'm going to give it a border, which uh, is going to be a uh, just a normal, just a normal line as the border. And I'm also going to change the background color of the ship um, to uh, yellow. Alright, and uh, I'm going to situate it, I'm going to put it at the Y coordinate of let's say 100 and uh, X coordinate of 100. And let's just see what happens. And so when you run the program, you see a yellow box at this position, which is 100 pixels from the top, 100 pixels from the left. But this is our spaceship, which we're going to control at the bottom of the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it all the way down here to the bottom uh, of the screen. So basically, where is the bottom of the screen? Well me dot height which is the height of my form if you have a look at my form here the height right now is uh, 471 actually let me just check that yep so the height right now is the number the second number in the size property when you click on the form and what we want to do is make that make the position of my ship me dot height which re refers to me refers to this form form one and dot height 
which is uh, whatever the height of the form is, minus uh, the height of my ship times 2. 2 times ship dot height. So let's see what happens when we run this. So now the box is at the bottom of the screen. Alright, so uh, now what I want to do is I want to change the left position, the x corner of my ship, to me dot width, which is the width of the form, minus, sorry, divided by 2. That'll move it to the middle of the form. And minus ship dot width, so it's going to move it to the left a little bit. So let's have a look at what happens now. So you can see the ship is now sitting at the bottom of the program uh, in the middle, roughly. Okay, so now that I have added the ship, what I want to do now is make it so that I can uh, control the ship. So if you remember controlling uh, objects, what we want is a timer object. So we're going to drag that timer object onto the screen. So we do need a timer. And in the timer object, I'm just going to change the interval of the timer to 20, uh, 20 milliseconds. And then what I want to do back in the code is, uh, actually I want to double click on the timer1 object. So if you have a look at the timer one object, if I want to move the ship dot left by plus equal one every time the timer ticks, every twenty seconds, move the ship, move the ship's x position, and if you run the program, uh, it doesn't do anything, and that is because we have to run the timer. So we gotta go timer one dot start um, in when the form loads. So it's gonna start moving the yellow box to the right. But what we wanna do is so that we can control where the ship moves. So I'm gonna create. I'm gonna add a new event handler for key. Um, key down and I'm gonna create a new variable called move right as new uh, sorry move right as boolean and initially it's gonna be false and when I press the key down when I press the key down um, let's say Uh, hang on a second. So when I press the key down, I'm going to use a select statement to check which key I'm pressing down. And if it is uh, if it is the right key, the right arrow key, then what I want to do is I want to change the uh, uh, the move right variable to true. And then when the move right variable is true, so if the move right variable equals true when the timer ticks, then we're going to move the ship. So when you run the program, you can see that initially the ship doesn't move, but when I press the right arrow key, uh, it starts to move to the right, but then I can't stop it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another event handler um, called key up. So click on the form one key down somewhere and choose key up. So when I release the key, what I want to do is I'm going to use the same select case statement. But when I press the right arrow key, the move right variable is going to become false. So that means when I release the right arrow key, um, it's it's going to turn false. 
So if you try run the program, if you press hold the right arrow key down, it moves. Release the arrow key, it stops moving. Okay, so we're going to repeat the same thing for move left. Equals uh, false initially. And <coughs> case, select case statement. When the key is, uh, when the left key is pressed, move left becomes true. And uh, do the same thing here for the key up. Move left is false when the key is released. And uh, if move right is true, move to the right. If move left is true, we're going to move to the left. So we're going to minus 1. And uh, we're going to change the coordinate to 4 so we can move the ship a bit faster. So when you run the program, press the right arrow key, press the left arrow key. You're moving the ship, which is a picture box that we created uh, on the fly without uh, dragging in the picture box object. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I'll uh, see you for the next tutorial.